Hello everyone. Welcome back to the another video of inventory management. In this video we are going to understand the ABC of ABC analysis. The basic concept of ABC analysis always better control. How actually it works. The graph of ABC analysis and the various categories. How these categories have been formed, what is the rational, what is the logic behind these categories, where these numbers 10%, 70%, 45%, 20%, 30%, how this number emerges and why this ABC analysis is important as a technique of inventory management. So we are going to provide the answers of these questions. So ABC analysis. The concept talks about it is also known as always better control. The base of this particular model talks about that all items in inventory are not equally important. Say for example any firm is having item A, item B, item C, item D and n number of items are there. So every item is not equally important to the firm in terms of price, in terms of sensitivity. So this model uh, basically talks about in terms of price and the consumption value. So there are two variables, one is the price, another is the consumption value. So all items, we believe that all items in the inventory are not equally important. For example, we are taking a small example, like while manufacturing a bike, we need four shockers and 100 nuts and uh, we know that value of four shockers is say for example 2000 rupees. Each contributing to rupees 500 and the entire value of 4 shockers is rupees 2000. And if we talk about the price value of 100 nuts and bolts, it's just rupees 100. And one shocker equal to 500 rupees, which means 2000 rupees in total. Therefore, if we generalize this concept, what we are going to find out is that a small number of items in small quantities, a small number of items in small quantities contribute to the maximum value. And how we are going to talk about because we have just seen that the quantity of shocker is only just 4 but it is contributing to the 2000 rupees in the total amount of the inventory. Similarly, large number of items in large quantities contributes less value. Therefore, much greater control is required on a small number of items contributing to the large value. So when we are talking about a small number of items, we are here talking about the quantity. Quantity of shockers is 4, but it is contributing to the maximum value out of 2100 rupees. They are contributing 4 shockers are contributing to rupees 2000. And similarly, when we are talking about large number of items, we are talking about 100 nuts. But they are contributing only 100 rupees. Therefore, much greater control is required on the smaller number of items contributing to large value. How actually it works? So, under this analysis, we divide inventory into three categories that is, A category items, B category items, and C category items. This model talks about that A category items they are 15% of the total inventory in quantity terms but they are contributing to 70% of the total value of the entire money spent on the inventory, right? Similarly, category B items are those items which are having 30% inventory, 30% in terms of quantity we are talking here, but they are contributing to 20% of the entire value. Similarly, C category items are those items, the quantity of which is Approximately 55% of the total inventory we are holding, but they are contributing to only 10% of the entire amount which is spent on the entire inventory. Therefore, focus on inventory control is given accordingly. Given accordingly means we need to focus on the inventories which are having higher monetary value. We priority need to be given on those items which are contributing to maximum value. In terms of money. And similarly, less priority, less controlling should be given to the B category item, which are contributed to only 20%, and C category items given should be given lesser control. So we are talking about the various steps. How we are going to analyze this. Now, this is a chart. We are going to calculate this A category, B category, 
in C category on the basis of various steps. In starting, we need to focus on only the items, the units required during any period, and the unit price. So calculate annual usage of each. The annual usage of each item need to be taken care and how it can be calculated. By this example, I am trying to explain that there are seven items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is required by any firm. The average consumption of item number one is ten thousand units. Item number two is five thousand units. Item number three is sixteen thousand units. Item number four is fourteen thousand. Item number five is thirty thousand. Item number six is fifteen thousand. Item number seven is ten thousand. The total inventory required in terms of quantity is one lakh. Units. Now, the second step talks about calculate its usage value in rupees by multiplying it with the price of the item. So, along with these units which are required during the annual usage during the entire year, the unit price will be given. So, item number one is thirty point four rupees per unit. Item number two is of fifty one rupees. Twenty pesa. Item number three is five rupees fifty pesa, and so on. Right. So the total number of items are given. The annual usage is given. We need to calculate the total cost. The total cost can be calculated by multiplying the number of units per item with the unit price per item. So it will be when ten thousand will be multiplied by thirty point four. It will be. Three lakh four thousand rupees for item A, two lakh fifty six thousand rupees for the entire year for item two, eighty eight thousand for item three, seventy two thousand fifty one thousand twenty two five hundred and six thousand five hundred for the entire inventory which a firm is spending. The total amount is eight lakh rupees for the entire annual usage. By these seven items, a firm requires. Okay. So the total quantity is. One lakh unit, and the amount spent on these one lakh unit is eight eight lakh rupees, right? So the second step, the first step was to calculate the annual usage. Second step was to 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 calculate the usage value in rupees by multiplying it with the price of the item that we have already seen. So one lakh units, eight lakh rupees in total. Now the third step talks about. Arrange the items in descending order according to the usage value. It has already arranged in this descending order, which means the highest amount is there on the top. Be followed by the second one, two lakh fifty six thousand. Followed by the third one, eighty eight thousand and seventy two thousand. Then fifty one thousand, twenty two thousand five hundred, and six thousand five hundred. We need to arrange this items. We need to arrange all items one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whatever the firm is having, as per the total cost of the items required annually, right? I have already done it, so there is no need of changing it. So the next step talks about the calculate the total of the usage value. We have already calculated it is now rupees eight lakh. So total one lakh units in quantity terms, and giving rise to total eight lakh rupees which have been spent by the firm on purchasing of one lakh rupees, right? Next step is we are going to calculate the percentage of each individual item's usage value and the total usage value. So we have one, we have the quantity units, and other hand we are having the total cost. So what we are going to do? We are going to calculate the percentage of each individual item. So first we are going to calculate the percentage of quantity wise. Then we are going to calculate the percentage in terms of total amount. Individual items amount on the total cost. So how it will how we are going to calculate it? We are going to calculate the number of units for item one that is ten thousand rupees divided by one lakh units into hundred. So it will be coming to ten percent. Similarly for second items it will be five thousand divided by one lakh. Then again it will be coming to five percent and so on for the seventh item. Right. Similarly, we are going to calculate it for the in terms of money. We are going to calculate so three lakh four thousand spent on item number one, which means three lakh four thousand rupees divided by total inventory amount that is eight lakh rupees. In multiply by hundred, it will be coming to thirty eight percent. For second items, 
it will be 256000 rupees divided by 8 lakh which will again be coming to 32% similarly we will be calculating it for item number 3 item number 4 item number 5 6 and 7 right after when we will be completing this calculation part of the percentage values in terms of percentage we are going to calculate the cumulative percentage and how we are going to calculate the cumulative percentage 10% then 5%, 16%, 14%, 30% will be again cumulatively we are going to add but we need to take care of one issue that first 70 of the cumulative percentage is categorized it need to be categorized as category A which requires the highest degree of control which means 38% and 32% when club together it will be coming exactly 70% percent. percentage will be close to 70% we are going to rename it as category A item. So, we are going to draw a line from this particular uh, category separating the number of items. So, in category A, in this particular example, we are having only two items, item number 1 and item number 2 which are falling in the category, category A. Right. Similarly, for the next item 11 and 9, this is 20 percent. So, as and when we will be getting 20 percent, we will be drawing a line and we will be giving it a name as category B. So, what we are observing, item number 3 and item number 4 is falling into the category of category B and rest 6.38, 2.81 and 0.81 which is coming as the 10 percent. The entire items which are left will be falling in the category C which means item number 5, 6 and 7 they are included in the category C. Now, the most important thing which we need to ascertain is the, the entire 70% of the price value is contributing to only 15% in terms of quantity. So, 15% only 15,000 units out of the entire 1 lakh units is contributing to 70% of the value. Similarly, if we comes to the second category, so 30% of the items is contributing to only 20% which means so relatively less control need to be applied on the category B items but uh, as far as category C is concerned so what we are observing the 55% of the entire 1 lakh units is contributing to only 10% of the actual amount 10% of the total entire amount so which requires Next 20% of cumulative percentage is categorized as category B, which requires relatively less control. Last 10% of the cumulative percentage is categorized as category C, which requires least control. Right. So, this is the diagram, which is again mathematically representing the numbers we have just seen with the previous example, which means the there are two variables one is the percentage of units on one of the axis the percentage of value in terms of money so here we are talking about the quantity and on this axis we are talking about the monetary value so what we are observing 15 percent of the quantity is resulting into 70 percent of the item 70 percent of the value in terms of money similarly next 30 percent so 15 plus 30 will be 45. So, next 30% block is category B is contributing to only 20%, which reflects that this much, only this much amount is contributing to this much quantity. Similarly, this 10% of the area is contributing to this much in terms of quantity. Right? So, now there are few limitations. The very first one is cannot be used independently. We cannot rely on ABC analysis only. We need to go for EOQ, fixed order quantity system, fixed order period system, VED analysis and many others. We cannot use ABC analysis as only mode of or only technique of inventory control. Second and the most important is C category items may be critical items. Actually this demerit or this limitation has given the birth to VED analysis because any of the item in previous example we have quoted that shockers and uh, nuts so if nuts are falling in the category of C nuts 
are falling in category C items, but any shortage of nuts will not allow the production to continue. Our production of motorcycles will stop at the same time when we are running short of the C category item that is nut. So C category item may be a critical item. And third one is constant reviews required because price fluctuation is also there. I hope this video has served the purpose in order to understand the concept and working of ABC analysis. Always better control analysis of inventory management for your queries and doubts. Please do comment in the comment box. Thank you everyone.